Hello everyone. Welcome back to the Splunk tutorial. In today's tutorial, we are going to see how can we use the lookup values. In the earlier lecture, we used one lookup spreadsheet table and we uploaded that using the lookup upload functionality. We have also configured the lookup definitions and we made those automatic. Once you made that configuration, the next thing is how to use that. So let's explore that option. So I'm going to this cloud version of Splunk. I'm logging using the user ID and password and it will take me to the home screen. Home screen is nothing but it is a search screen. If you provide here any search criteria, for example, let me use the source type equal to access and let's go ahead and search this string. Of course, I need to change the time frame as all time because that is what my the data set is. And when we search this record or this string, on the left hand side, we see the several options. So let me do one thing. So let me remove this price and product name. I added that recently, but let me explain you what is that. So by default, when we search any string, it will give us the selected fields such as host, source, source type, etc. So within this time or within this data set, we have this kind of data. But along with this data set, we can see some other interesting fields. And the fields such as the price, product ID, product name. If you remember, the price and product name, these are the fields which we created while importing the lookup data. So as soon as you import data and you add some fields, those fields will be available to select. In order to select these fields, what we have to do, we have to go to this all fields and just select those check boxes. I'll scroll down, we'll select the price product ID and the product name. As soon as just you select it, those fields will be available as a selected field. If I click one of this field, let's select the price. It will give me the information about what are the values. So there are total nine values with around 68% of the events are based on this price value. It will give me the count and its corresponding percentage. So this calculation happens internally. We don't have to do any additional configuration for this. If you want to get the average or maximum, minimum, it will automatically pull for us. Similarly, we can get the product names. So these are the products available in the lookup table, which we configured, which includes values such as world of cheese, same cubicle, and so on. We are not use any of these values in our search string. Let's go ahead and use this price or product name in our search query. But before going to do that, let's do some normal search. I will use the status equal to 200. So from where this value is coming? If you expand any one of this event and if you scroll down in this subsection, will see the status equal to 200. So that is the attribute I am pulling in the search query. Then we'll add some other parameters such as action equal to purchase. Of course, you can use any other value also. Then we will use suppose any function or any command like for example stats and just execute it. So this will give me the stats of each of these attributes count, how many uh, attributes are present and their corresponding counts. I will also use the count of the product. So how to use? Just use comma or you can just use count and then we'll use the function called DC and we get the product IDs here. Product ID is again one of the attributes present in the data set and let's execute it. 
so this is a product id uh, these are the arms let me do one thing i will just uh, add some values and let's see values of product id but of course we have to use by the client ip so let's run it and so these are the client ips with the counts and this is the product id 11 and we have the values uh, so this is the count of the product ids and these are the product actual ids so this is definitely coming from the source means coming from the data set let's give some labels to these names rather than uh, the default names so i will mention count as um, total purchased count and then for the product id i will just mention as a maybe the product product numbers or something like that and we'll get the actual product ids here And let's search it so we have to use clause as to mention it's a name and now we can see the names are changed so instead of count we are seeing the total purchase data instead of product id dc we see the product number or i'll see the product count and then we have the product ids but it is very difficult to know what this product is itself and here is the lookup table will comes in the picture in case we would like to use the lookup table attributes we have to remember what name of the fields we created for the product names we created a variable called as a product name so it should match with the same variable name which we have configured what we'll do we'll take the values of this product name and let's name it as a product name and let's run it now we can see for each product there is corresponding name present so on the same line you can use the price also and you will get the price of that corresponding product so say mention price and i will provide in the code as a price of product Of course you can name anything as per your need and let's run it and we can see the price of this product as well so we can pull all the attribute if you want to for that we have to configure the lookup accordingly so this way we saw how to run a query how to see those selected field or interested field whatever we configured for the lookup then we use the simple query and we change the name or the title of the attributes and then we have also used the lookup values such as product name price etc let's go ahead and select the visualization now this chart is showing based on the client ips because that is what we are grouping by hence the chart is created based on the ip address if you select others the values which are not falling in the given client ips will be shown in this result set right now there is no events with this kind of actions hence it is showing the zero so this way we can leverage the lookup table configuration and show the corresponding data i hope this tutorial is helpful you for understanding use of the lookup in the search in the upcoming lecture we are going to learn more interesting things about this plan so do not forget to subscribe my channel and you have a nice time